The Venus RX Oracle deck is based off of the Venus retrograde transit that we study in astrology. And this transit happens about every two years. It's a significant transit in which it allows us to look deeper into the areas of life that Venus rule, which is love, money, career, relationships, and beauty. Also self-worth and self-value. And so the deck reflects the Venus retrograde transit. It reflects the energies of looking deeper into the zodiac sign and the houses. It reflects Venus moving forward as Venus is also direct. Uh, so we also look at Venus direct energy in this deck. The deck also includes shadows. What are some of the shadows when we overdo Venus, right? When we're really chasing money, when we're really chasing love, when we're really chasing after um, seduction and lustful things and beauty. So Venus, uh, the Venus Rx Oracle deck also includes shadow cards, okay? And then it also includes goddess cards as Venus is connected to many ancient archetypes of goddesses. And this deck is improved every year so right now we have three goddess cards that reign in the deck but we'll definitely be expanding that very soon so in this video i wanted to show you guys the different types of cards that you're going to find organized in the deck so that you can become very familiar with them as you pull them for your readings the first type of card that you will find is the venus direct cards how do you know that they are Venus direct? Because they don't have the RX next to Venus. It's just Venus, right? So this shows you Venus in Capricorn. This is going to be Venus direct in Capricorn. Now, in any of the Venus direct cards that you find, whether it's in the zodiac sign or in the houses, in a yes or no question, these would be a yes answer. The other thing about this being that it is in the zodiac sign is that you're going to find that this is the heightened form of Venus in the sense of beauty. So these cards hint to Venus's beauty aesthetics, which are also going to be available on the website for you to study and learn as well if you'd like. But as long as you're familiar or use the images in the cards, you can also just pick up the energy of the cards to do any beauty readings. So Venus Direct means that the beauty is taking a, a step forward, that beauty is enhanced. It also means that way in all categories of Venus when it comes to love, relationships, or anything. The Venus Direct cards are going to signify moving forward in those areas, and the zodiac sign will color the, the way in which it is moved, the style and the swag and the beauty and even the way that uh, money would be gained, right? due to the zodiac sign. So Venus direct cards are uh, really important for the deck and they help to signify moving forward. Let's take a look at a different type of card that you'll find in the Venus RX Oracle deck. This would be Venus retrograde cards, okay? These are gonna be the main cards of the deck, meaning that when you find these, they're considered, you know, the big players because Venus RX is about looking deep into Venus type of topics, okay? So if you pull a Venus RX Oracle deck card, right? If you pull one that has the RX next to Venus, as you'll see there, this means that this is about looking deep into the zodiac sign that it falls in and the topics that are available for that. It's about also revisiting something. So it might be about going back and um, looking in that person's life. It might even be looking at their chart and, and going back and looking at something that has to do with uh, the zodiac sign in their chart. Uh, you can expand on this in various ways depending on the reading, but the idea of the Venus RX Oracle deck is to look deeper, and the Venus RX cards is to look deeper. In a yes or no question, these Venus RX cards are going to be a no, but maybe a revised, like there's still more to be considered before we can get to the yes, right? So it won't be a flat no, but it's definitely a, a no for the moment because it's not direct, it's moving backwards. So using the zodiac sign, it can help you to, and to inform you about how to relay that message. Let's look at a different type of card that you'll find in the deck. Okay, and this card is the wild cards. 
The wild cards are very, very cool because they work like Uno cards. <laughs> You'll see that on the wild cards that they'll have instructions at the bottom that say stuff, something like pull two more. There's some that say skip in which you can actually skip over certain cards. I'll be showing you that in another video. There's another pull two here and there's more reversals. Now these reversals may mean pulling from the deck again, right? Um, or they could mean going back and looking at the card that came before. So we'll be explaining the wild cards in their own video so that you'll know how to use them even better. Here is another wild card, Love Never Dies. This one actually is a truth or dare. So you can actually uh, read for a truth. And if you read for a truth, you would pull three more. And if you read for a dare, you would pull you would take three away so this will be explained deeper in the wild card video but the wild cards are really cool because they possess that uno type of feel but what they also are connected to is creating an, an experience for you as the wild cards will have these qr codes on them and these qr codes can be scanned so that you can play music while you are continuing your reading. This entire deck, the Venus RX Oracle deck, is connected to a full album called Venus RX. Okay, so the album um, will, will be evoked in these cards here as you can play the music if you ever pull these cards in your reading. Along with the wild card is the Venus Direct Sugar card. This is considered a wild card because it's definitely saying that um, it's against the, the idea of the deck, as the deck is a Venus RX deck, and this Venus Direct is a wild card, and it's like, look, whatever has been happening, we're moving forward, right? It's just another moving forward kind of energy. But you can definitely read in the card meanings the differences between like the Venus RX cards versus the Venus Direct cards in their specific meanings. Now, another type of card that you will find in the deck are these shadow cards. These shadow cards are actually based off of these ideas of what happens in like our everyday material world. Certain role players that can happen or certain circumstances that happen when it comes to the shadows of Venus, okay? So it's very um, third dimensional matrix material world topic based. For instance, we have something like split the check, right? In which this is, you know, talking about money, but it has a very specific message, whether you're talking about money or not, which is about expectations. You could read more about this in the card meaning page, right? We also have this cool card, the side chick, right? So these are role players that happen in our everyday world and um, how they work as a shadow, now we're going to move on to the next type of card that you will find in the Venus Arts Oracle deck. And these are the goddess cards. Now Lilith is actually a shadow card, but I keep her in the goddess card. She will probably become a goddess card. Um, eventually I might change that. This th What's really cool about this deck is that because it's a retrograde deck made during retrograde, it's constantly being revised and improved. So that's kind of the theme here. Um, and so uh, Lilith is a Venus shadow card, but also a goddess card. Right now we have three main goddess cards, which is Ishtar, Aphrodite, and Shakti. And they mainly evoke the, the energy of the archetype of the goddesses. Whenever these cards are pulled, we're definitely looking at someone who's standing in their highest potential of all the energies that embody Venus, but most importantly, the idea of self-worth and value towards self and towards others, of course. Okay, so that is your uh, breakdown of the Venus RX Oracle deck and the different types of cards that you will find. So I hope that this video has brought some clarity and ideas. Stay tuned and check out the other videos that break down the different cards in more detail. Peace and love.